Hi, this is Mrs Sykes, and in today's video we're going to have a look at the photosynthesis equation. I've got the word equation in front of you now, I'm going to have a look at the symbol equation in a little while. Photosynthesis is a process that takes place in plants. Plants use energy from the sun and the carbon dioxide in the air and then water to create glucose. This is them making their food so that they can grow bigger and they can make everything that they need within their structures, within their cells, and to make themselves grow larger. Photosynthesis is a process that is really important and nearly everything that a plant does is designed to maximise the amount of photosynthesis that can take place. So having a quick look at the equation then, we've got carbon dioxide and water. So carbon dioxide is going to be coming from the air. Water is most likely going to be coming from the soil, through the roots, up through the stems. And they use these things to make glucose. Glucose is sugar. And it is the glucose that the plant wants. This is the most important thing for the plant. The glucose is used to make all sorts of things around the plant. It's used to make cell walls. It's used with a little bit of tweaking to make proteins. It's used with a slightly different bit of tweaking to make DNA. So what we also need, however, is we need some sunlight. And it is that sunlight that is providing the energy for this process. Carbon dioxide and water do not spontaneously make glucose. They need energy to go in. And that energy goes in because of the sunlight. You might also see sometimes that they write the word chlorophyll along this arrow as well. Chlorophyll is the green pigment, the bit that makes the plant green. And it acts like a sponge and <laughs> soaks up the sunlight energy in order to provide the energy for the reaction. If there's no sunlight, because it's night time, there isn't going to be any photosynthesis taking place. If you have a part of a plant, like the bark of a tree, that is brown instead of green, there's not going to be any chlorophyll and the process won't take place. So you've got to have sunlight and you also have to have chlorophyll, the green pigment that catches and traps that sunlight and provides the energy. You need to also be familiar with the symbol version of this equation. Now, I've put this so that these line up as best as I can, so that you can see what's going on. So we've got carbon dioxide here, and you have the symbol version. Water, this is the symbol version for glucose, and this is the symbol version for oxygen. Now, it's actually quite an easy equation to balance. It's all sixes and twelves. So six CO2s, six H2Os, six oxygens. But fundamentally, the most important thing about this is that you are trying to make glucose. I'm going to get rid of the word equation so that, that doesn't cause us any distractions. And I'm going to focus on the glucose. This is what we are trying to make. So to make this glucose, we've got to have carbons. And that's why we need carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is providing the carbon to make the glucose. We need H's, 12 of them. Those are coming from these waters. So we need carbon dioxide to make glucose, because without it we can't make it. We need water with its hydrogens to make glucose. And we also need some oxygen. And actually we can get oxygen from the water and we can get oxygen from the carbon dioxide. In fact, there's so much oxygen, there's some spare left over. And that is why it's plus oxygen. The plant is not trying to make oxygen. It wouldn't make oxygen if it had a way around the process. It only wants the carbon, it only wants the hydrogen, and some of the oxygen. So the extra oxygen here is actually a waste. We don't want that. It's very useful to us as humans, but the plant is only interested in getting this glucose. 